The Kerwin County 4-H Club hosted a party with a purpose tonight at Sprout in Little Falls. The party raised funds for youth development programs of the area 4-H. Our reporter Rachel Johnson has more. Sprout Grower and Makers Marketplace Building was busy Tuesday night as the Crow Wing County 4-H Club hosted a party with a purpose. The parties are funded through a grant awarded to the Region 5 Development Commission by Art Place America's National Creative Placemaking Fund. It's something that we applied for and we were lucky enough to get a spot on this. Um, so they provided the food and we have some Native American entertainment coming in, which is actually some Native American 4-H members and some volunteers. They're gonna provide some entertainment tonight. The parties with a purpose are awarded by Sprout through an application process. So Sprout is a nonprofit organization. We're located at um, our facility in Little Falls, but we really have a regional focus, trying to use food as a cultivator of community and conversation. And tonight we get to see that with the Crow Wing County 4-H group coming here to share appetizers and talk about their organization and raise a little bit of money for them to continue their youth programming. This was the first party with a purpose where the food was handmade in Sprout's Kitchen by the group the party benefited, 4-H members and their family. We're just helping out, just cook for the Sprout event. We're the very first group to do this and we are very honored to do it. We're just cooking, helping with the regular meal, appetizers, dips, everything. Tonight's party highlighted Native American culture through appetizers that were served as well as live performances by 4-H members from the White Earth Nation. It'll be a really fun event for our 4-Hers and everyone else to get a taste of some Native American culture while enjoying some Native American appetizers and just having a nice night to enjoy and learn a little bit about another culture and all while supporting 4-H. While the event was successful in supporting the 4-H monetarily, it also brought people together for a night experiencing a culture that might be different than their own. This event has been really surprising because we haven't made these recipes before and I haven't worked with this group before and I've just been so impressed by the enthusiasm of these young people, young women, um, who are getting in the kitchen and getting right to work and I can't wait to taste what they create. Reporting from Little Falls, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. Tickets to the event were $10 and included appetizers, wine and beverages, as well as entertainment. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.